McJob, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. McJob is a slang term for a low-paying, low-prestige dead-end job that requires few skills and offers very little chance of advancement. The term McJob comes from the name of the fast food restaurant McDonald's, but is used to describe any low-status job, regardless of employer where little training is required, staff turnover is high and workers' activities are tightly regulated by managers. History McJob was in use at least as early as 1986, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, OED, which defines it as an unstimulating, low-paid job with few prospects, ESP, one created by the expansion of the service sector. Lack of job security is common. The term was coined by sociologist Amitai Etzioni and appeared in the Washington Post on August 24, 1986 in the article, McJobs are bad for kids. The term was popularized by Douglas Coolan's 1991 novel Generation X, Tales for an Accelerated Culture, which described a McJob as a low pay, low prestige, low dignity, low benefit, no future job in the service sector, frequently considered a satisfying career choice by people who have never held one. The term appears in the 1994 novel Interface, by Neil Stevenson and George Jewsbury, to describe in the abstract positions that are briefly held and underpaid. In the 1999 British film Human Traffic, one character's work in a generic burger outlet is referred to as a McJob. In the face of objections from McDonald's, the term McJob was added to Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary in 2003. In an open letter to Merriam-Webster, McDonald's CEO, James Cantalupo, denounced the definition as a slap in the face to all restaurant employees and stated that a more appropriate definition of a McJob might be teaches responsibility. Merriam-Webster responded that they stood by the accuracy and appropriateness of their definition. On 20 March 2007, the BBC reported that the UK arm of McDonald's planned a public petition to have the OED's definition of McJob changed. Lorraine Homer from McDonald's stated that the company feels the definition is out of date and inaccurate. McDonald's UK CEO, Peter Beresford, described the term as demeaning to the hard work and dedication displayed by the 67,000 McDonald's employees throughout the UK. The company would prefer the definition to be rewritten to reflect a job that is stimulating, rewarding, and offers skills that last a lifetime. These comments run counter to the principle that dictionaries simply record linguistic usage, rather than judge it and that dropping the entry for McJob would be a precedent for bowdlerizing definitions of other derogatory terms. McDonald's attempted to get all of its workers to sign the petition, but many refused on the grounds that the current definition is accurate, despite the company's complaint. During the aforementioned arguments that broke out when Merriam-Webster included McJob in its new edition, McDonald's officials implied the company might bring a lawsuit against the dictionary based on this trademark issue, but never did so. McDonald's disputes that its jobs are poor because the company has been nominated for employee awards that are created by employers. However, this was contradicted in the outcome of the UK McLeibel court case in which the judges ruled that it was fair to say that McDonald's employees worldwide do badly in terms of pay and conditions. The term McJobs was registered as a trademark by McDonald's in 1984 as a name and image for training handicapped persons as restaurant employees. The trademark lapsed in February 1992 and was declared cancelled by the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Following the October 1992 publication of Generation X in paperback, McDonald's restored the trademark. Accuracy of the term There are often wide variations in how workers are actually treated depending on the local franchise owner. Some employees start out in entry-level McJobs and later become assistant managers or managers, continuing to work at the same franchise for many years. However, this is the exception rather than the norm. McDonald's advertises that its former CEO, Jim Skinner, began working at the company as a regular restaurant employee and that 20 of its top 50 managers began work as regular crew members. According to Jim Cantalupo, 
former CEO of McDonald's, the perception of fast food work being boring and mindless, is inaccurate, and over 1,000 of the people who now own McDonald's franchises began behind the counter, because McDonald's has over 400,000 employees and high turnover, Cantalupo's contention has been criticized as being invalid, working to highlight the exception, rather than the rule. In 2006, McDonald's undertook an advertising campaign in the United Kingdom to challenge the perceptions of the McJob. The campaign, developed by Barker's Advertising and supported by research conducted by Adrian Furnham, professor of psychology at University College London, highlighted the benefits of working for the organization stating that they were not bad for a McJob. The advertisements ran at London's Piccadilly Circus. See also, Contingent Work, Critique of Work, Maxim, McDuff and McDo, a 2002 French documentary about unionization of a McDonald's in Montreal. McWords, My Secret Life on the McJob, a 2006 book describing management lessons learned by the author, Jerry Newman, when he worked undercover in several fast food venues. Hermadimp, poverty, working poor, zero-hour contract, some businesses participate in, whereby work is not guaranteed, but employees must be available for work in short notice, unlike contingent work, or casual contract, where employees must be given ample notice, and have the right to refuse guaranteed minimum hours of work.